guys so we've got quite a good update first of all my beard's gone ah! uh the engine uh i've been working on the wiring and um, going through things uh, slowly but surely i've uh, i managed to skim the manifold that took ages i've spoke to some various different machine shops and things to try and get it sorted out um uh, because when I welded it, I although I had it bolted down to a really large piece of aluminium, uh, the alley still bowed. Um, I was trying to pull as much heat out of the flange as possible, but it just didn't work. Uh, I thought it'd be reasonably easy to sort out, but uh, once I'd spoken to some machine shops, nobody could work out quite how to clamp it down, which is fair enough. I mean, there's there's only one flat face, and it's the one that I want to skim. So uh, what I did in the end was I put a uh, fresh belt onto my uh, onto my linisher. Uh, spent a while linishing the majority flat um, and then I got uh, the largest file that I own which is this bad boy um, uh, it's probably about a thousand years old but the fact is it's big it's flat and I, I filed for pretty much a whole day uh, and got it to I think I think there's about 0.1 run out on it something like that um, the far corner was still slightly warped so what I had to do then was get the TIG out and um, uh, put a very small amount of filler over the over the surface which I then skimmed back again took the bastard file filed that down and yeah about point one across the whole surface so I'm happy with that now um, wiring wise uh, I've done various bits and bobs I've got my Mac valve in so my, my boost control solenoids boost control solenoid is here and sorted uh, that's all wired in I just need to work out how to mount that um, I also gave the wastegate a service and sorted out various different plumbing bits for it so this is where we are with it now let's just hold it up so I've got um, push fit fittings on there now which are all um, tapped in and sealed I'm still trying to work out where this wastegate is what, what it's from I don't know whether or not anybody able to be able to give me some assistance on that it, the only marking on it is that one at the top it says FEX. I think I'm pretty sure it's a motorsport turbo. Um, uh, sorry, motorsport wastegate. Uh, it's beautifully made. Um, investment cast housing, a beautiful uh, phosphor for bronze um, valve bush, and all that kind of stuff. It's really quite nice. But biggest news is we have a laptop, which is currently connected to an ECU, which is hiding down there, and. When I switch this switch here, we've got a priming fuel pump, we've got clicking relays, we've got, uh, if I hold this one here, I don't know whether or not you'll be able to hold that on there somewhere. Oh yeah, well, oh, I've got an earth I need to hold on to one second, because I still haven't got all my earths in. If I hold on to this one and push it with my thumb, ready? That was the sound of the starter motor spinning. It's not actually um, hooked into the uh, flywheel at the moment. So we've got starter motor, we've got fuel pump, we've got um, sensors which are reading. Nothing's caught fire, no fuses have blown, so the wiring is getting there. Um, I reckon that we are still on for my fire up next weekend. Um, I do need to plumb in the uh, the fuel level sensor because I need that plumbed in as soon as I start putting f uh, fuel into this thing so that I can work out what level I'm actually at um, otherwise I'll have a dead band at the bottom and I, I won't know how much is in there so I'll plumb that into the ECU and then I can put five litres in record a value put another five litres in record a value and at least then that will get us up and going and I'll know where that bottom value is then I can get a 20 litre jerry can, shove that in and take another reading. But uh, yeah, so I think I think next weekend we might have some noise, which would be, <laughs> which would be quite exciting, really. I mean, it's four years. It's sat here uh, in a bazillion pieces. I mean, I started out with a, a perfectly good working car and took it to pieces, which is just part of the course, really. But um, yeah, so next weekend, guys. Let's uh, let's try and make some noise. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll speak soon. Bye.